I've got almost zero coins left on my account, and honestly, you should too, because quite frankly, I think that there's going to be a big boom to the market today. Everything's going to be going up in price, and there's a couple reasons I think that. Number one, it's Sunday. Last year on Sunday, the market went up the most of any day during the first week. Two, it is still early, so everything's just going up still. And three, squad battle rewards just dropped onto the market, which is adding supply. In theory, you're going to have more cards in the game, which could bring down prices, but it's only temporarily because these cards, even though they're getting listed and there's some undercuts, this is adding more coins to the game. And when that happens this early on in the game, you're going to see more buying power. More buying power equals higher prices. And so today I expect a big increase on our investments. And that's why I only have 2000 coins left on my account. And, uh, if you've kept up with the trading to glory or my videos so far, you'll know I have a, a few more coins than 2000 already. So with that being said, I'm going to show you my investments, my new investments, and I have some ideas. I have some ideas for some even better investments after we sell our cards or if you haven't spent all your coins yet. And sometimes trading can take a while. So if you want coins quick, then Loot Bar is what you're looking for. Not only are they already cheaper than the other platforms, but when you use my code NITRO, you're going to get another 8% off of that and 5% more coins than what you bought. It has great reviews, big creators use it, and you get your coins within a few minutes. So if you need quick coins, Loot Bar is the place to go. Now, I'm not much of a squad battle player. If you finished Silver 2 like me, you got a 75 plus rare gold, 7.5 and a 75 plus times three. It's okay. I played three games pretty quickly, so I'm not sad about it. I actually got a couple decent pulls like Timo Werner. We'll take those couple thousand coins. But if you did go out and get elite, which this year it seems like it's a little easier to get higher up in the squad battles. I don't know if it's because less people are playing or nobody was paying attention to the fact that the rewards are kind of juiced. You only had to play like 12 to 15 matches to get here. And that gave you an 85 plus rare gold player pack, 75 plus times 10, which is basically like a 50K pack. And then a 55K pack, 10,000 coins. This is really juicing the market right now. And so even though we're seeing a small decrease in price on some cards that we've invested in like Griezmann, what we are seeing is uh, going to be a lot more buying power in these cards to rebound. So we bought this Griezmann for 95,000 coins and 92,000 coins yesterday. So we bought this in the most recent video on the channel. And if we take a look at his price right now, you can see he's gone up to 115,000 coins, which is great. Let me refresh. He is rebounding already, it looks like. And that's what we were expecting from him. If you take a look at Griezmann's graph since the game came out, he started at 64K. That was his lowest. That's to be expected. He settled at about 80,000 coins on Friday. We bought on Friday night a little bit late. Of course, it took us some time to get the, that many coins through actively trading. But we made our investment about 92,000 coins. And over the course of Saturday, he only rose and got up to about 120,000 coins. Now, even though he dipped back down because because of this squad battle, uh, the squad battle reward at 118,000 coins, I think as we get through Sunday, this card's going to be back over 120, maybe over 130, maybe even higher than that. So I'm going to be holding on to that, and we'll sell probably on Monday. That's my expectation. But if I sell any earlier than that, I'll let you guys know on Twitter or on our Discord, which our free trading Discord is down below. You can just click to join it, and you know, no price for that. You guys can get in for free and, and communicate with each other on trades and SBCs and anything involving this game. But this Griezmann is going to go back up. I'm also investing right now in some new cards. Uh, I was able to get a Foden right when the squad battle rewards dropped because everybody was just listing cards on the market. And so he was popping up a decent bit. It took me like four tries to get one, but not too difficult, I guess, especially for a card that I really do believe is going to be more than 110K. Now, he hasn't been extinct as long as like Jude Bellingham. I don't know if I'd have been able to snipe him. But Foden, I think, is going to be very valuable because of that link to Air Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland has a new squad building challenge out right now. And because he's got a new SBC, um, I believe that that link is going to be valuable. Now, is everybody going to go out and do this PLTM Haaland? No, it's very expensive, which it should be because it is an upgrade on already an incredible player in the game. And we haven't even reached the standard release, but it also introduces something new to our investments, which brings me to our first 
big idea of the day for, for making investments, which is the fact that Player of the Month has dropped now for Premier League, which means that we're probably going to have August Player of the Month for other leagues like La Liga and Rafinha. So Rafinha here, if you're looking at links to Rafinha, you think Eder Militao. You possibly think, you know, Vinicius Jr., but he's not exactly going to be in the same budget. I would think Eder Militao would probably go up in price because of a Rafinha SBC. So think about that compliment link. You know, Eder Militao is already going up in price. He's already meta. He's got every reason to go up. This SBC would bring him up even further. Think about Frankie de Jong. He's already gone up a little bit more in terms of the percentage than other cards because of the Dan Juma SBC, Netherlands, and in La Liga. This card is Brazil and La Liga. Exact same concept. Then, when you look at the Serie A player of the month for August, you have Taram, who's a striker, French, and from Inter Milan. So, Inter Milan links, French links. If there are any others that are in Serie A that are both French and in Serie A, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but you go out, you find one, go for it. That would be a good investment, in my opinion. And another thing to consider for investments is out-of-pack investing, which is why I've gone out and I've picked myself up a Laminia Mall. Laminia Mall is one of the better Team of the Week cards from this week. It was kind of I was in between him and Trinity Rodman. Trinity Rodman's like 150k right now. I could only afford Laminia Mall and Foden. Uh, I couldn't get. Rodman and Foden because I'm literally out of coins now like I don't have any more I need to trade actively I didn't trade much yesterday I just invested so I've I've got these cards and that was the combination I preferred I could have either gone Trinity Rodman and, and maybe like a, a card going for like 50k Ale Alexander Izak maybe he's a little bit too low rated for my liking but we've got to remember that these informs go out of packs on Wednesday. So after that, the supply gets cut off. But do you really think that Laminia Mall, who's already got a plus three upgrade and, and great lengths, is just going to not have demand after Wednesday? Of course not. As we get closer to the first weekend league, this card is going to still be in demand, but the supply won't be there, which is why I think that not only he, but other Team of the Week in Team of the Week 1 are going to go up, especially starting Tuesday, Wednesday, and after he's going to be out of packs. Now, it does compete with Rafinha. If Rafinha does get an SBC, it's not ideal for Laminia Mall, given the fact that Laminia Mall is a left or a right wing, and so is um, Rafinha. But the silver lining to it is Laminia Mall can play left wing as well. So that is something that kind of protects him from uh, dropping in price due to an SBC that competes uh, for people's starting uh, spot at right wing. So Laminia Mall is a good investment, but when we think about out-of-pack investments, we don't just have to think about the team of the week that's leaving packs. We also have to think about the team of the week that is entering packs. So today on Sunday, there's going to be more games, but let's talk about some of the cards that could get into team of the week based on the performances on Saturday, and you can invest in their gold card because the gold card, it goes out of packs if that person gets a team of the week card. And if that card is used in teams, if that card is used in squad building challenges, then it's going to go up very, very dramatically during the week that it's out of packs because you have to consider the card's been in packs for less than a week. Then it's going out of packs for an entire week. So that gold card gets very rare during that one week. It just hasn't been in packs for very long. Now, it'd be very different if we were going on like week 40 of the game. It was June and a card goes out of packs for a week. Well, that gold card might not get too affected by the fact that it's out of packs because it's been in packs for 40 weeks. The supply is still exists. Even though it gets cut off for one week, it's not going to sky up in price. When it's week one, week two, week three, even week four, that will happen. These cards will be dramatically affected by being out of packs. And so let's take a look at some of the cards that could get in to Team of the Week. Now, one of them is uh, Griffo, who had two goals for Freiburg in Bundesliga. Uh, you also have two goals for Zegrova, uh, who is in the Ligon. Uh, you have three goals for a guy named Charles uh, at Bolton. Um, I don't know who that guy is, but... Congrats on the hat trick. And then I think Olise is one of the, like, the most confirmed ones for me because he had two goals, two assists for Bayern Munich in a dominant win. He is, I think, guaranteed to get into Team of the Week. Now, 
before you ask in the comments, should I buy Lynx? Should I buy Kingsley Coman to link with Olise? Should I buy? No, these cards are going into packs, not objectives, not SBCs, very different. Not everybody's going to have an Olise. If he came out in an SBC, if he was 50,000 coins in a squad building challenge, then I'd say yes, buy Coman, but not when he's going into packs. That's completely different. So Olise is uh, likely to get in. You have Diaz, who had two goals on the weekend in Liverpool's 3-0 victory. And then you have a, a, a few more here. Uh, this is from Fut Bible on Twitter. He tweeted out a bunch of options. Um, not everybody on this list is going to get in, and I don't have stats for all of them, but these are all players that had very good uh, performances on either Friday or Saturday. So you have Aitana Bonmati. Uh, so she's got a very expensive gold card, you know, 240,000 coins. That would be a decent investment if she did get into Team of the Week. Marie Antoinette Katoto right there, and a couple of uh, lower rateds there. You have players like Olise, who I think is getting in for sure. Uh, you have Griffo, who's maybe likely Charles is also in this one. You have Brownhill, Ruben Neves from the Saudi League, Alderweireld, and Doyle. Then on page three, you've got Hyungmin Son. He had two assists, so it's possible he gets in Team of the Week. If EA really want to juice the Team of the Week, they might put him in. Uh, but Son and Madison aren't both going to get in, right? It's going to be one or the other, if any, right? They're not going to put both Son and Madison in this team of the week. They're going to choose one from that game, if any. As, as I said, it's not guaranteed that either get in. Then you have uh, Yuri Tielemans for Aston Villa, Henderson, Jackson, and Kongsgrove. A lot of po uh, potential Premier League players here. Mbappe and Vinny Jr. are potentially going to get in. I don't know if they're going to stretch and really juice this team of the week because, again, it's not like they had ridiculous performances for Real Madrid on the weekend. Uh, but since they just get on the score sheet, everybody hopes that they're going to get into team of the week. Muslera, Zagrova, Lanzini, Day, Kaiser, and Francisco Mora. So those are all potential Team of the Week cards, as well as Yusufa Mukoko, who did just transfer to Nice in the summer from Borussia Dortmund. So those are all potential players that could go out of packs. And when they go out of packs, that means they get rare. So there's two things. One, you can invest now, wait till Tuesday, sell into the hype. Especially when people start dropping their Team of the Week prediction teams on Twitter and Reddit, and it gets spread across social media those cards are going to rise in price so if you get in very early like on sunday you can just sell into the hype and you don't have to wait for ea to actually drop team of the week now if the card does get into team of the week what you can also do is wait until wednesday wait until the team of the week drops then you can buy those cards you might not get the best price but over the course of the week a lot of those cards are going to go up now don't buy a card that's gone from 700 coins to 2800 coins that's way too much of an increase it's up 400 percent already don't be dumb and do that but if the card has gone from 700 to 950 then yeah there's not that much risk involved with buying that card so even if he didn't go up over the course of the week you're basically still getting your coins back or at least close to it so don't be dumb with these kind of investments don't spend more than you absolutely need to but it is a very good opportunity to actually get in on some of these out of pack investments anyways that's gonna be it for today's video guys hopefully it helps you guys out don't forget to subscribe to nitro uh, gaming, Nitro Gaming. I'm changing the name soon, okay? I know it says Elite still. It'll be Nitro Gaming soon, um, but uh, I just wanted to kind of keep it that way so you guys get familiar with it before we change it. So that's the idea. Hopefully it works, or maybe I just become irrelevant by next week. Either way, I'm going to still drop the videos for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.